anybody? Is anyone there? Uh, Koval? Marit? Uh, hey, this is Jasna. Uh, I was just with you. And now, I don't know where I am. Or how I got here. Oh. I've got a splitting headache. Does anyone hear me? Base, do you copy? Are you there? No damage to the suit or bone structure. Just <clears throat> this headache. for a moment. My receiver's dead, but the transmitter may still be working. I have two solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. Damn it, I've lost my beacon. Where is it? Supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was that just the end of the mission? Just like I thought. Nothing. I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. See if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? Bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. They usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Send up a flare, the probe! Anything! Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog.
A specific structure, which does not resemble any canine. I'm checking another object, which also doesn't match. Oh, focus. Retrieve it later. It might come in handy. Bingo! I found the dog. We have the first one. I need one more. An object I called Needle. Right. It resembles the eye of a needle. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. See our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you? I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Huh. There's water on this desert planet. allow the biosynosis to fall. Won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. Third rule. awake good my body might be awake but my brain is still in the fridge I wouldn't be so sure my dear clearly your sense of humor was first awake now try to get up slowly Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well how are you holding up Gorski don't get up just yet is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules 
I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. <sighs> Cobble, will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Astrogator. The bathing chamber in 15 minutes. This can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. way out of the valley, leading more or less towards the camp. I know I'm in a hurry, but I should check this place first.
found it. Look for me on your trackers. this way. to go. This area is volcanically active. Ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. Over 400 meters in a straight line. I, I see you. Can you hear me? I just need to get down from here. If it 
catches me, so be it. This suit will hold. I can't get down this way, but I can secure the rope. Here the ground slopes a little more gently, which doesn't mean it's completely flat. All right. I want to see you as soon as possible. I'll take your chance. an ideal but I'm okay the suit's fine too visibility could be better Maybe I should wait! happened where I was heading to impossible I'm much closer to my destination I must have walked for some time condition every step is a strain oh, I don't want to whine but if you come here it will be so much easier for me Are heavy. The field is loaded by 
I remember you, Regis Third Satellite. Astrogator, sir. Crew? Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the words of paradise, no radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps are. Right I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought intolerant evolution occurred here. Mm, that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Mm. Anyway. We'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. For such a fossilized egg, it must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too, so I must have read more. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis Three is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. They are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, and how would we do that? Simple. 
We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please. How much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cove. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. Feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Arty to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not a bad fit. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Androbot. But stop! What the? Hey! Anybody out there? It's Dr. Yasna! Krauter was correct. Life on Regis hasn't left the water. Koval also. He, he said something about it. Come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And Novik? Is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. And Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the void. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a... I understand how you feel, Koval. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? I come across as, well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple bombing that speaks to me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, but the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. Probe in the water and switching to manual.
distance, 100. It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. Catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. Dr. Gorski, have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again. Ah, oh, well. Never mind. Hello? Anyone here? Marit! It's Yasna! I, I came for you! Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor. Is everything all right? Doctor, please. Look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Astrogator. Fine. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your report. We didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the Doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication? None. Conclusions, Doctor? Uh, 
you have any idea what's wrong with him? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. And there were no visible injuries. So, I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Okay. What should I do? Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. Three, six. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broken. <laughs> okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Responsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely and secure Crowther. I have everything I need. Just. Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Hmm. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart that Androbot. A relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. And I think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. 
There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. instructions. Oh, I don't know if the Andrew bot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes, unfortunately. Hmm. A positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. You can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, Tim Bartlett. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Found the area marked by Dr. Krauter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send hopper, sir. Damn, 
I seem to have gone too far. I can see the filled markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and I haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well. But before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Mm, right. Anything interesting? Focus. What now? I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. Got someone. I'm following the signal. on the ground. somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Any progress? Oh, we dig as far as the terrain and out. It'll take a while. Regis, come in. Status report. Astrogator, sir. We dug up another three cubic meters. The object exhibits remarkable structural homogeneity. All spectroscopic analysis shows similar results. Steel with tungsten and nickel alloy? That's right. With the addition of other common metals. Is there any chance of retrieving the entire object for research purposes? No, none at all. Even sonar couldn't cover the entirety of it. Instead, Dr. Gorski calibrated the detector, so we had to look beneath the surface. And? What did you see then? Uh, more of the same. 
that protrudes above the ground is just the tip of the iceberg. We estimate it extends at least 50 meters on the ground. Uh, I see. Oh, uh, furthermore, it's not a single object. Down below, there is an entire root system. So vast that it's impossible to cover it all at once, either with a scanner or a detector. Have you followed its course? Dr. Gorski's doing just that. Gorski? Are you scanning those routes? Affirmative. Uh, I'm headed westwards. Been going for a few hundred meters already. Still haven't reached the end of it. Sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, but I confirm my suspicions. This area has been tectonically inactive for a very long time, and the Aeolian activity is minimal. Therefore, the material that has settled on, or rather covered this metallic structure, is very old which means these structures are even older. And what are we talking about here? A few thousand years? Tens of thousands? Uh, I can't give a precise assessment, not yet. I'm asking for a rough estimate, Merritt. Uh, uh, well then, I guess it... It could be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years old. Mm. Anything else? Almost? Well, they don't look like anything I've seen before. And you know I've seen a lot, Novick. Also, I can't find any scientific explanation for this form. Hmm. Could this be what the Alliance is here for? I don't think you guess that. I really don't know. Uh, personally, I doubt it, Astro Data. The more research we do, the more convinced I am that it serves no purpose at all. It's even hard to imagine this could ever have any function. Carefully, Cobble. Regis, we're losing reception. Sir. We listen. Wait for the interference to pass. Uh, excuse me, but I don't think it will pass on its own. We need to take action. What do you suggest? I can board the second lander and fly to the surface. Yes, sir. I can't let you go alone. My leg. equipment gave me hope, but someone just abandoned it, didn't even turn it off. We need to expand our search radius. should move. Oh, there's no time. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? 
Dr. Merritt? No. No vital Thank functions. You. What's I going need on? Two. One. Two. Three. Come on. Everything will be fine. All fine. Cobble's next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. 